Thank you, Chair, uh, fellow delegates, friends. Whether we have the banking inquiry now under this government or whether we have it when Labour is in government, we are going to have a banking inquiry. It is going to be open, transparent, and it is going to be done, and we are going to find out exactly what happened and who is complicit in the collapse of our economy. We are not talking about a mere glitch in some ERSI report. We are talking about the collapse of an economy. And I don't think that this government has quite got that yet. And when Labour are in government, we are going to have that banking inquiry. And we are going to find out who was complicit in it and why it will never happen again. But it did happen and it has to be rectified. And we can talk all day long about the catastrophic effects of it internationally, globally and nationally. But what we should be seriously looking at is the effects it has on the individual. And in that respect, I would like to tell you about the removal of SNAs from schools and children with disability. Because if we have a commitment to education, then we must have a commitment to a rights-based education, and that rights-based education must include everyone. We introduce free third-level education. We introduce free second-level education in this school. We introduce universal education in relation to primary school. Why are we so terrified about introducing rights for people with disability. What the hell is stopping us? It will not break us. But there is a reason. There is a reason why right now the establishment will tell you you should not introduce it and that is cost. Well, none of the other things cost us, and this won't cost us. We will manage it. We will manage it. The demands are not that great. But let me tell you about the individual, and let me tell you about Jack. Jack is a little boy who has a very peculiar disability insofar as he cannot speak. Jack's SNA went away, and she learned sign language, and she adapted it to Jack. And Jack, according to the principal, blossomed. He blossomed. That SNA is gone, and no other SNA in that school has the ability to communicate with Jack. That's the effect of Mr. Fitzpatrick's treason. That is the effect, and that will continue. That will continue to be the effect. That will continue to be the effect. We are facing into very dark times. And when the Labour Party is in government, we will need bravery. We will need brave people. But it is a unique opportunity to dream once and for all the impossible dream. And there is no other party that can dream that for the Irish people other than the Labour Party. Support this motion.